Hello and welcome to another five minute toot by Mr. Meyer here today. Uh, I've had a little bit of a break here. I've had a couple of busy last couple of weeks here, so uh, I haven't had one I've been able to throw out here, you know. So I've got uh, this one here, which is I think a kind of a cool idea. I actually got this from another teacher who's asking for help with um, Nearpod and Google Classroom. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn how to assign a Nearpod to Google Classroom and kind of how that works um, pretty seamlessly, actually. So I'm in Nearpod right now. So if I find a lesson that I like, like this one, for instance, on Hammerhead Sharks, um, remember there's two ways that you can assign this. You can make this a live lesson where I'm going to be um, myself as a teacher guiding the group here. Oops, I lost my, my timer here. Um, and then they also have this, what's called a student paste, which will um, the students will do kind of on their own in their own time. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do a live lesson. And so when I click a live lesson, what happens is it gives me some options on how I can share this code because this is a pre-generated um, code that goes specific to just this lesson. Well, they have this little button here for Google Classroom. So if I click on this Google Classroom, <clears throat> if you're not signed in, it'll make you sign in. I'm already signed in. So what you'll get is this little pop-up window. And basically, you can just pick your Google Classroom. So uh, I'm going to use my second grade tech one as my example here. I can click on that and I can say choose an action. I'm going to just make this an announcement because I just want them to click that link. So uh, when I hit go, what it's going to do is it's actually going to create this post in Google Classroom right there. And so I can um, quickly or type in like a little thing here. Uh, click the, whoops, let's spell the right way here. Click the link to join our session or something like that. And then like that, it's all ready and set to go. I can go ahead and hit post and it's posted in the classroom now. So I'm gonna close this little window out here. So if I come back to this page, I need to um, update this. So I'll show this there. This is what the students would see. They get into classroom. They have a link that they can get to um, our classroom. So uh, I can set this up prior to um, the students coming into class. I can get this all set up, ready to go. So when they come into class, they just go to classroom, they click the link, they get into the Nearpod. There's no waiting. There's no uh, anything. They're just ready to roll. And then as a teacher, let's say I started this on my computer, which is what I would recommend if you're going to set it up through classroom is do this on your desktop. But let's say you want to control the lesson on your iPad. Well, you can easily do that. Um, when you go ahead to get out of this, it'll say, do you want to leave the session? You can resume it later. Say yes. And then when you get into your iPad, you start up that very same thing and you go ahead and you click live lesson and it'll come up with this and it'll say, do you want to launch a new live lesson or do you want to join that particular one? So then you go ahead and you hit that one and then you're right back in there and you're controlling it with your iPad, which is kind of nice. So you can actually get this set up the day before or that morning and you have class later on, which is kind of nice. So uh, that's one really cool way of doing this. Uh, and I have about two minutes left, which is perfect because I also want to show you how to do that student paste uh, for students who might be gone. So this is another way of doing this really quick and cool. Uh, this time I'm going to hit student paste. So let's say we did this hammerhead lesson in class today and three kids were gone. I don't want them to miss out. I want them to be able to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit student paste and I'm going to assign this to them. They can do this kind of on their own. So we go to Google Classroom again, just like I did before. The only cool thing now is I'm going to go back into that same class. Instead, uh, we'll make this an announcement. Instead of doing this to the entire class now, what I can do here is I can actually individually assign it to students. So what you do then is you would pick just the students that were gone. Those students that were gone, assign it just to them. And so then when they get into the classroom, they'll see this extra post that nobody else will see. And you'll say something like, since you we're gone. We did this. <clears throat> you should too. Right? Something like that, because that's super professional. So you would do something like that. Then they would pop up with that right away when they get into classroom and they would say, ah, here's my homework. I can do this. I can make this up. And then as they go through the slides themselves, they'll answer the questions. You'll get that report just like you get the live report, which is kind of nice. So a perfect way to uh, implement Nearpod into classroom together. Very easy, very simple. And then also catch up those kids who are gone um, so that they get the same experiences that everybody else has gotten, which is kind of cool. So hopefully this helped you out. 
Uh, this is like got 25 seconds left. Holy cow, I didn't even, I have extra time to spare here. Um, pay attention to the very end of this video because if you remember my last five minute toot, I did a little competition, a haiku competition, um, and I've got some prize giveaways and I will reveal those winners. So pay attention to the end of this. Watch it all the way to the end uh, and I'll do a very quick reveal on who our winners were. And also, by the way, with four seconds left, I'm going to Nita this week and so I will be getting lots of more cool uh, prizes. So uh, what a toot indeed. Uh, with that, I think we're done. I'll have some more coming out later on. So uh, thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to the prize reveal today. Uh, sorry for the terrible quality. I realize my webcam is awful. <clears throat> but anyways, I had three people give me a haiku that uh, should be the district haiku. So I'm going to award all three of you prizes. So those people that did that uh, first one was Mrs. Wilson. Mrs. Wilson, you're going to be the proud winner of, look at this thing here. This is cool. This is an Apple picture frame thing, which is really neat. And then also this little swivel pack. Look at this. You've got this little guy here. There's three things he does. He's a, like a stylus, stylus, uh, a pen. And then also look at that, a screen cleaner so I can clean up stuff, make it look a little bit nicer, which is kind of cool. Um, you also in here, there's like a little pouch here. I've got some stickers and then also a swivel lanyard in there. So those are your prize packs. I'll get that to you soon. Um, Mrs. Couser also was a winner there. She's going to get a very cool Go Noodle, if I turn it up the right way, Go Noodle sticker, uh, a Go Noodle lanyard, which is really cool. Uh, look at this, a little flash drive USB thing. And then check this thing out from CDWG. This is super cool. This is like a, a charger thing. And so it has like... Let me pull this out before I make a mess. It has a little power cube. And then look at this, like three things. You can literally like plug every type of device into this and charge it, which is cool. And then also uh, there's a car adapter charger as well. So that's Mrs. Couser's uh, winnings there. Very good job on the haikus, which I will post in this video as well. And then uh, our kind of our biggest winner, I guess, would be Mrs. Sherman because Mrs. Sherman went like haiku crazy and gave me a haiku for all the things I did in the video and then gave me haikus for the district as well. So because of that good effort, you're going to get some extra special things. So I've got the uh, Go Noodle Lanyard. I've got a very cool uh, professional book, 50 things you could do with Google Classroom, which, hey, highlighted Google Classroom in our video today. So that's awesome. And then check this out. This is super cool here too. Let me open this thing up so you can actually see what it is. This is like a virtual uh, field trip thing that you can use. And uh, since we also did talk about Nearpod, uh, I've got that in here as well. This is a Nearpod virtual field trip. So in here, you put your phone or device, you close it up, you put it over your eyes, and then you can go like on Google Cardboard, um, and be able to see things in life, like looking all around like virtual reality stuff. So uh, very good job. Uh, again, I will have some more things for you to win, hopefully with some of more um, our other five minute toots. So thank you to those three teachers who submitted a haiku. Uh, and next time, hopefully you might be a winner of some great and fancy stuff. See you later.